In hindsight, we accomplished what was required. With Unicron's awakening, extreme measures needed to be taken. Enemies became allies. Allies became confidants. And with the matrix of leadership, the planet Earth was saved. Though at immeasurable personal cost, when Optimus surrendered the Matrix, he lost more than the collective wisdom of the Primes. Who are they? Our mortal enemies! He lost himself. That doesn't follow. Optimus knew Megatron. They were like BFFs. If Optimus did not know his own name, Perhaps it is because the title of Prime hasn't yet been granted to him. Huh? What? Say again? With the power of the Matrix no longer within him, it would stand to reason that Optimus has reverted to his pre-Prime state. The historical archivist, Orion Pax. You mean in his mind? Are you telling me Prime thinks he's some kind of librarian and a Decepticon? Attention, crew. Our guest is currently in isolation to help ease his transition. But when Orion Pax emerges, he is to be shown every courtesy. And the first to address him is Optimus Prime. We'll have their voice box torn out. Lord Megatron, is it wise to allow an Autobot, current or former, full run of the premises? Nothing happens aboard this ship without my knowledge. You would do well to remember that, Arachnid. But there's no need for concern. Orion does not possess the same fight Optimus is so renowned for. Then what use is he to our cause? Ah, rest assured. Orion Pax will indeed earn his stripes. Welcome back to the winning team. Being a Decepticon is a choice, Agent Fowler. One that I have a hard time believing Optimus would make at any point in his life. So if he's riding with the Cons... It's because Megatron's working some kind of voodoo. Orion Pax may not currently be an Autobot up here, but I must believe he will never stop being one in here. We must locate him to know for certain. Hold up. I have a chip lodged in my behind that lets Uncle Sam know when I stop for donuts. Are you telling me you can't just track Prime? Optimus's signal has not reappeared since he embarked for Earth's core. But we must get to work finding him if we have any hope of initiating his contingency plan. Contingency plan? What contingency? Is that even a word? The key card. So what's it do? It grants access to Vector Sigma the repository of the wisdom of the Primes. Is that some sort of supercomputer? So we can just download Optimus's memories back into him? Great! Which one's the big V? Over here? Somewhere in back? Vector Sigma is more than a supercomputer, Jack. It is an ancient source of mystical power. On Cybertron. <laughs> a captive of the Autobots and locked in stasis for quite some time, Orion. Long enough for us to be in Exodus on another world. Exodus? Why? Because the Warlord Ratchet's careless actions 
led to this. Oh. Cybertron. Jackson Darby, you will not be traveling to another planet. I'm in. You're not going either, Miko. Not when one of you can. June's right. Why send a boy to do a bot's job? Because only a Prime can access Vector Sigma. Or one chosen by a Prime. Optimus gave the keycard to Jack. It is now imprinted with his unique biosignature. So you mean Jack's like some kind of honorary Prime? Let's just say Jack is the only one who can return Optimus to the Autobot we knew. But why would Optimus willfully endanger a human? A child? I'm not a child, Mom. Maybe Optimus believes there's more to Jack than meets the eye. All of which is moot. The keycard is useless to us without a means of reaching Cybertron, which we at present do not possess. Dude, what about that? Miko, the ground bridge barely got them into Earth's orbit, remember? Yeah, but Ratchet built it. Can you just turbocharge the thing? I cannot believe Ratchet capable of such horrors. Yes, and to think the Doctor of Doom's mad quest for power continues. His marauders pursued us to this planet's orbit. We feel its species are not ready to behold us. But we have resolved to protect this world from the same tragedy which was dealt to our own. One question, Megatron. Why are we called Decepticons? Another Craven Autobot scare tactic. The name was meant to demonize us. Instead, we wear it as a badge of honor. For if speaking the truth is deception, then we are gladly guilty. Now please, Orion, there will be plenty of time for catching up. You must rest. Megatron, I will do my part to stop Ratchet's unspeakable crimes of aggression. This I vow with all my spark. We have successfully achieved control of Orion's spark. Now to put his mind to work. Have you sanitized the data core? Excellent. Our new archivist will require unlimited access to our files. It would be counterproductive for him to stumble upon any sensitive information. Two body slam burger specials. Enjoy. Hey, Jack. Sierra. How come I never see you around? What are you talking about? We have chemistry together. I mean, class. <laughs> chemistry class. I mean, outside of school. I never see you at any parties or the mall. Well, mostly I'm here wearing the hat. And you never can study too hard for the old SATs, you know. And there's some other stuff. Oh, don't go anywhere. Welcome to KO Drive-In. May I take your... 5 p.m., Jack. Your shift is over. Let's go. Oh. That kind of stuff. Sierra, wait! She's my mother. Your mom looks good in leather. On your bike. <sighs> Didn't mean to decimate your social life. Not the first time. Any sign of Optimus? Not today. Not yet. When we stormed the Iacon Hall of Records in the waning days of the war for Cybertron, we acquired highly classified files. Files written with Autobot codes which we have been unable to decipher. 
Autobot codes, which the Iacon archivist Orion Pax should have no trouble cracking. Considering what's at stake, shouldn't we beef up the security around here? Knockout. I believe that Orion will perform most effectively if he does not feel threatened or confined in any way. However, it is no coincidence that Orion's workstation is located in direct proximity to the Energon storage vault. Which is under constant surveillance. Well played. Ratchet, are you turbocharging the ground bridge? Tinkering. No need to get anyone's hopes up just yet. Orion, how fares Project Ayakon? I am a bit rusty, I fear. I've only managed to decode three entries. And what do these entries comprise? They were logged by Autobot archivists during the war after I entered stasis. My only knowledge of their contents so far is that they are coordinates, targeting locations on this very planet. I surmise that they could indicate hiding places for vessels shuttled from Cybertron for safekeeping. Such as historical documents or cultural artifacts? My greatest fear would be weapons of mass destruction, hidden away for later use. All the more reason it is essential that we do everything in our power to keep said vessels from Autobot reach. We are fortunate to have you on our side, Orion Pax. Lord Megatron, I am puzzled by one particular finding. I have discovered several historic references to Starscream as your second in command. Yet I have not seen him aboard the ship. Sadly, Commander Starscream is dead. Orion asks many questions. Valuable trait in an archivist, but not in a Decepticon. It is a matter of time before he unravels our fabrications, and his innate sense of right and wrong rises to the surface. I only hope that Orion will complete Project Iacon before I am forced to destroy him once and for all. Agent Fowler, is it Optimus? It's Khans, and they're busting into the same military research lab they hit two months ago. Another space bridge? Before all we know, Optimus is riding with them. Roll out. Aren't you missing someone? Ready for that bridge? We'll be sure to tell the big O you said hello.
What? R.C. Allow me to welcome her aboard. No! If Orion so much as lays eyes on another Autobot, let alone be allowed to witness its destruction, everything he currently believes will be called into question. See to it that R.C. is escorted off this ship immediately. Return to your station, Lord Megatron's orders. Motion. What the? You weren't able to determine the Decepticon's location, or if Optimus was even aboard ship? I couldn't confirm. Blockhead? What? You needed that? Only thing I need is our head honcho back. It's not your fault. If any of us needed rescuing, Optimus would have found a way. I didn't. Simple as that. Ratchet! What happened out there? Reports indicate at least a dozen wounded. The heat's on me to provide some explanation. You bots better get your act together, or the Pentagon will make me shut down your base. But where would you go? Who knows? Maybe they'll ship us out to some island or fire us into space. Wouldn't that be a welcome relief? I don't blame Fowler. Optimus would have evacuated all humans from the area before engaging the cons. We don't actually know what Optimus would have done because he's not here. You're pretty good at stating the obvious, Bulk. Anything else you'd like to mention that we already know? Nothing I can say in front of the children. Hey, aren't we overlooking one positive? Nobody's talking about what the cons just got their claws on. Yes, we managed to allow them to finally acquire a power source for their space bridge. And how exactly would that be a positive? We let them finish building their space bridge. Why? So they can bring more zombies back from Cybertron? No, so we can commandeer it and use it to send me to Cybertron. Whoa, that's a pretty good idea. Oh, well, if Miko thinks it's a good idea. Nobody's saying it will be easy, but you've seized the space bridge before. We blew one up. That's a whole lot different than three of us seizing and holding one. B's right. We'd have to find the thing first. Uh, hello, if it's a space bridge, isn't it? The term space refers to its transport range, not its physical location. And we've been monitoring Earth's orbit since the last one. We'd know if it were there. So the bridge could be somewhere right here on Earth. Like trying to find a servo in a scrapyard. Then maybe we better start looking. But the fact remains. We do not know what the Decepticons have in store for Optimus. Or if he's truly safe from harm.
Starscream. That's Commander Starscream. What's your malfunction? Lower those weapons immediately. I'm sorry, sir, but Lord Megatron ordered that you be taken into custody should you ever return to the ship. What? <laughs> Clearly, there has been a mistake. Previously on Transformers Prime. Optimus has reverted to his pre-prime state, Orion Pax. The key card, what's it do? It grants access to Vector Sigma, an ancient source of mystical power on Cybertron. When we stormed the Iacon Hall of Records in the waning days of the war for Cybertron, we acquired highly classified files, which we have been unable to decipher. It's cons, and they're busting into the same military research lab they hit two months ago. We let them finish building their space bridge. Why? So we can commandeer it and use it to send me to Cybertron. I have not seen him aboard the ship. Commander Starscream is dead. Optimus Prime? Please, I mean no harm. Oh? Then what are you doing here? Research for Lord Megatron. Uh, is this some kind of joke? I do not understand. And why did you call me Optimus Prime? Uh, why wouldn't I? Because my name is Orion Pax. I am far from being a Prime. Uh, you... Reminded me of someone I once knew, that's all. You are Starscream. Yes. Lord Megatron told me you had been terminated. Lord Megatron says many things, only some of which are true. You do not suggest that our leader would speak falsehoods. <laughs> you truly are being kept in the dark, aren't you? Speak in many riddles, Starscream. Please, tell me what it is that you know. And in return... Starscream, surrender! Die! Hold your fire! Remain in the lab. But I... Lord Megatron's orders. <laughs> Raphael, is the test subject ready? Check. Long-range GPS activated. 
I have doubts whether my recalibrations have successfully extended ground bridge range, but there is only one way to find out. It was just the first try. No, Raphael. It was pure folly. A misguided act of desperation. It takes eons to master space bridge engineering. And no one is more accomplished than the Decepticons. You know, there's this thing in gym class where you have to climb a rope all the way to the ceiling. It's really hard, and I've never been able to do it. But when I told B about it, he believed in me, which made me practice a ton. Finally, just a couple of weeks ago, I made it to the top. What does any of this have to do with gym class? I, I, I was just... <sighs> I'll give you some alone time. Optimus, I am so sorry. Orion, I'm so sorry for the recent commotion. You weren't in any way harmed, were you? No, Lord Megatron. But why did you tell me Starscream was dead? Because he is dead to our cause. Starscream was my most trusted lieutenant until he turned traitor and joined the Autobots. Never have I witnessed a more profound act of deceit. He did not do or say anything troubling to you. No. Good. Perhaps it's best to forget the entire incident and return to your project. As you wish, my lord. Orion was never very adept at the art of deception. I made a mistake not terminating Starscream when I had the opportunity. A mistake I do not intend to make again. No sign of Energon spikes. RC or B find a space bridge? They haven't yet reported back. Ratchet, you all right? Hmm? Yes. Yes, let's just get you to the next quadrant. What is it? A high-frequency signal with an embedded message. For me? Optimus? Starscream, I have obtained information regarding your leader. Bring medical kit. Come alone. You to come alone! And since when do we listen to you? Where is Optimus? Patch me up and perhaps I'll tell you. <sighs> Have sympathy. I'm leaking here. Then I suggest that you speak quickly. Has Optimus been harmed in any way? He's fine. Fine. Can't you see I'm the one who's been harmed? Where is he? Where do you think? He's on Megatron's warship. Which is located where? <laughs> now? Who knows? It's a ship. It moves. It took me months to track, only to get fired upon. You wouldn't go to the trouble of calling me here unless you had information to trade. Real information. <sighs> Very well. Your beloved leader may have lost his senses. He goes by the name Orion Pax now, and it seems Megatron has led him to believe he's a Decepticon. <laughs> Tell us something we don't know. What? How could you possibly know that? We're wasting our time. Wait, that's all I have. 
Really? You can't just leave me like this? Unless you know where Megatron's hiding his space bridge, you can stay here and rust. <sighs> space bridge? Do you mean to tell me that they actually finished building it without my supervision? <laughs> It hurts most right here, Doctor. The Decepticon Space Bridge is located right here, deep within an Energon mine. Adjacent to a raw fuel supply. Clever. What's our intel? A reliable source. So, do we have a consensus? Do we know if people can even breathe your atmosphere? I'll hook Jack up. Completely state-of-the-art. I still have connections at NASA. It's too dangerous. Mom, I know that this is hard, but Optimus risked his life to save our planet, and he's not even human. We owe it to him. Jack may be the only one who can do this, June, but I don't want you to think for one moment that I'll allow him to travel unchaperoned. Not everyone is destined for an ordinary life. Optimus Prime was once Orion Pax, after all. When you were little, you always wanted to be an astronaut. Okay. Optimus Prime. Oh, Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobot invaders. I reminded Starscream of him. And Lord Megatron said Ratchet was the Autobot leader. Someone is not telling the truth. We will ground bridge directly into the Energon mine and make our way to the space bridge chamber, neutralizing any Decepticon forces we encounter. Once we secure the space bridge, We'll send for Jack. Stealth must be an absolute priority. We will most certainly be outnumbered, and if any Decepticon should transmit an alert to their warship... The odds become 400 to 1. Scrambling communications upon entry will certainly provide an edge in this regard. Taking the bridge is the easy part. You three need to hold it long enough for Jack and me to get to Cybertron and back. Raphael climbed to the top of the rope in gym class. We can do this. What does gym class have to do with anything? And if Ratchet gets to go in a commando raid, I'm going to. Miko, you will help Raphael operate our ground bridge and manage the communications hub. Oh, can go to Cybertron, can't storm the Decepticon space bridge. And Nurse Darby will stand by in case of emergency. Son, it's time to suit up. Clear. Clear. Command, this is Space Bridge Control. We are under attack. Scream. Who else would it be? A 
masterpiece of engineering. Operational? Fully. Perimeter secured. Now the scary part. I'm shutting down the Scrambler in order to contact base and maintain communication through the remainder of the mission. Strike team to base. Objective secured. That's your cue. Bring me back a souvenir. So, what happens when you have to go to the bathroom? Safe journey, son. Just go already. Optimus needs you. Locking on the Cybertron. You ready? Let's do this. I'll leave the space bridge portal open in order to eliminate any communication lag over the great distance and make it easier for you to locate when you're ready to return. Easier to locate? You're not bridging us straight to the Big V? Vector Sigma's true location is shrouded in myth and rumor, Jack. It is said the path of the Primes leads there. We must be confident that Optimus will guide you. Don't worry. Space bridging is just like ground bridging. Just a little more intense! I'm actually on another planet. R.C., this is incredible. R.C.? This isn't how I wanted you to see my home. I'm... I'm sorry. In the fog of war, it's hard to see beyond the next leg of the mission. Or the next punch in the fight. We did everything to save Cybertron. But when the fog finally lifted, there wasn't much left to save. R.C., Jack, do you copy? Roger. We're on Cybertron. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Just keep the sightseeing to a minimum, huh? Indeed. We don't know if your journey ahead is five clicks or 5,000. Understood. We're out. Okay. Ratchet said the card would guide us, but I don't see how or what I'm supposed to... There you go. This could be a while. Space Bridge Control, do you read me? Space Bridge Control, this is Breakdown. Your status report is overdue. Scrap. <clears throat> Vulcan, no. You'll recognize your voice. Oh, I can make it lower. Higher? He would recognize mine as well. Come in, Space Bridge Control. Don't make me come down there and dent some engine blocks. Somebody say something. Bravo! Raphael, patch in Agent Fowler. You have one nanocycle to respond to. This or is Space Bridge Control. Situation normal. Normal? You sure about that? We were just calibrating the subsystems, and we, uh, had a surge. But it's fine now. How are you? Uh, uh, never better. I know it's thank 
us down there. Keep up the good work, huh? Will do. Control out. <sighs> Why would the Decepticon archives be so heavily encrypted? of Project Hayakan. foot from here. Don't want engine noise to attract the wrong kind of attention. Cons? Vermin. This way. Previously on Transformers Prime. With the power of the Matrix no longer within him, it would stand to reason that Optimus has reverted to his pre-prime state. A high-frequency signal with an embedded message. Where is Optimus? Unless you know where Megatron's hiding his space bridge. Space bridge? They actually finished building it without my supervision! Once we secure the space bridge, We'll send for Jack. You three need to hold it long enough for Jack and me to get to Cybertron and back. How could I possibly be Optimus Prime? Vector Sigma's true location is shrouded in myth and rumor, Jack. It is said the path of the Primes leads there. Must be close. Sigma's down here? 
Kayon didn't always belong to the Decepticons. Megatron took it as their capital, apparently without ever realizing what lay beneath their feet. some kind of giant bot beetle. An Insecticon. A what? What are Decepticons doing on Cybertron? A few remained in stasis. Sentries, should the enemy return. <laughs> No, Nurse Darby, RC is Jack's backup. The key card is his guide. Do it! Listen to her, Jack. You've made it this far. Optimus is counting on you. Roger that, Mom. Have you made progress with Project Iacon? It seems I am a bit rustier than I thought. Might that have anything to do with the nature of your after-hours research? Did I fail to mention that we would be tracking your activities? Why does history portray me siding with the Autobot aggressors? And why did Starscream call me a prime? I must know. Who am I? You are my clerk. Now get back to work and decode that database. No. I would rather erase my findings than make them available for your questionable use. documenting every iota of your invaluable research? One of our sentries was activated on Cybertron. You told me our planet was dead. That is beside the point. Guards! You will finish Project Iacon by the time I return, or I will carve out your spark before your very eyes.
connectivity log indicates my space bridge was set for Cybertron and remains open. The only possible reason the Autobots would take such a risk would be to restore their precious Optimus Prime. Commencing download, I think. Soon, Optimus. No one told you to stop, Pax. I believe Megatron intends to use whatever he finds in Project Iacon to harm the Autobots. Please, we can warn them. This is taking a while. Of course it is. We are talking about the collective wisdom of the Primes. to be scraplets if they chew through vector sigma before the matrix fully reloads so vector sigma is more than legend you autobots have gone to impressive lengths to recover your leader be assured i shall never underestimate you again I assume the one called RC will be stepping through that portal with a reloaded matrix of leadership in hand. We hold the space bridge at all costs. Oh, no, 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 no. 
want to talk right now? We'll see. Let's roll. You have to admit, it's a privilege to stomp the former leader of the Autobots. We have the Matrix. We're coming through. Ratchet? Something's wrong. We can't not go through, can we? so that I might end the lineage of the Primes for all time. I cannot allow that to happen, Megatron. Then why should you care, Orion Pax? You are no Prime. That may be true, or yet another deception. But this much I do know. My sympathies lie with the Autobots, and you are not one of us. Your spark may be in the right place, Orion. But you have much to learn before you can hope to ever again stand your ground against me. A moment, sadly, which shall never come. Join our little reunion. 
Now, if you please, the Matrix. Megatron, be gone. Ratchet, how did we arrive here? Long story, old friend. Base to RC. We're reading five Autobot life signals down there. Is Prime with you? And Jack. Yes! Oh. It's ours! Autobots, fall back! This time, he's coming with us. there is much I do not remember. Optimus, it has truly been our darkest hour. But know this, from every indication, your spark never ceased being that of an Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> 